If you want to know the factors that affects the range of your electric scooter, keep on watching. What's up, Caballeros? Today we're gonna be taking a break from electric scooter reviews, and today, meron tayo ngayong ibibigay na lesson 101 for you, electric scooter riders. So today, you're gonna be learning all the factors and all the points that affects the range and how you can save enough battery to extend the range of your electric scooter. Featuring two of our electric night commanders from the electric night riders, they will be helping me out in presenting to you the factors for this video didn't you know that if you like this video you will be blessed but if you don't skip the ads you'll be more blessed Hell yeah <laughs> yeah so don't skip the ads so we can give more giveaways for the future so let's start off with our first night commander the first factor we're going to be talking about on how to reduce your uh, battery capacity with your scooter is, of course, your body weight. Now, uh, body weight usually varies when you look at the specs of the scooters. Mostly they are tested with 70 kilograms of weight. Now, if you're more than 70 kilograms, that will affect the overall distance of your scooter. Now, that will also be like me, 105 kilograms. I don't really have the luxury of actually extending my range if so that I so I got like a bigger scooter that would actually suffice that so if I have a smaller scooter let's say maybe a Xiaomi a Xiaomi Pro which has 45 45 kilometers of range I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get 45 kilometers of range another factor also when it comes to range is the weight of your scooter accessories so it's not only just the weight of the rider, but also the weight of the accessories. I see some scooters that actually has range extenders that are at least 10 to 12 kilograms, and that will affect the overall performance of the scooter, especially if you have so much drag on the front end of your scooter, that way it will actually feel more heavy, especially if you're not a dual hub or anything like that. So it will really affect the range of your scooter. So take that in mind, off to the next factor. Okay, I'm going to discuss about the battery condition. It matters what kind of battery that you use for your electric scooter. It could be the brand. So, for example, if you use like the high quality cells like the LG MJ1, so it's going to improve the overall range of your scooter. And next is the battery time that, that you've had your battery. So, for example, you've been using your electric scooter for Two years without rebalancing it the lithium ion degrades over time that is the most common experience that we experience as electric scooter riders and basically any other electronic devices out there so on to the next commander and the next factor that i'm going to discuss that affects the range of an electric scooter is the road condition now for the road condition they are either a soft one or a rough one or the somewhere in between but on that road condition, it really affects the electric scooter range because when the road is soft or like a plain flat road, it saves enough battery for your electric scooter because it doesn't give too much pressure for the both of the hubs if you are using a dual hub electric scooter or just one hub if you are just using a single hub electric scooter. So it is more energy saving when you are on a flat smooth road. but if you are on off-road it affects the battery because it gives more pressure to the hub aka motors of your electric scooter that's why it pulls up more energy when running on off-road conditions and that's the next one that affects an electric scooter and before we continue don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video comes up and our next factor will be the tires. Now there are three types of tires that I like to talk about. First is the off-road tires. Off-road tires on a pavement like so is not as effective as you think because technically that actually consumes more battery just because of its resistance. The resistance from the tires to the pavement is a lot uh, less because technically there's no friction on the road. Therefore, you get what we call wheeling and uh, less traction meaning more spin and more spin equals more rotation in your battery that that's the whole point unlike when it's road tires you have more traction you get more uh, less of a spin rather than an off-road tire 
So I fully recommend uh, road tires if you are using the pavement most of the time or in the city. But if you want a little bit of both, you know, um, the third wheel we're going to discuss is the hybrid. The hybrid wheel is actually a little bit more convenient because you have the conventional off-road tire and the road tires all in one. Though it's a little bit also consuming with the battery, but overall it still does both purposes. So it's, it's a bit of a trade-off. It can do the road, it can do the off-road, that's why it's called the hybrid. So if you want to save more battery and you're using the pavement most of the time, go ahead and get the road tires. However, if you still want to have that off-road experience, you can always get the hybrid. And if you're going to off-road most of the time, please get the off-road so you can save more battery for it. And off to the next one. Okay, so the last factor that affects the range of your electric scooter is mainly throttle control or driving behavior. So this goes in both ways. For example, if you go single hub or you go dual hub. For example, when you go single hub, then you flap down, hold down, step down on the throttle, right? So that's going to stress the rear hub so much where in fact you could have an option to do a dual hub that distributes the weight of those loads evenly and provides for more performance on the scooter at the same time possibly saving up battery so that depends whether you fully you fully pin down the throttle uh, in my case it's a thumb control or you well or what we call this piga in filipino so what i do usually is not fully uh use the throttle on its full potential like maybe in my thumb throttle like around uh, around 20 degrees or around 45 but not on the absolute limit so just enough that the hubs are able to rest down although it really depends rider to rider but for me that's what i do i always go and do a hub it saves me a lot of range i've used it to go all the way to Tagaytay. yeah and i could say that uh using dual hub it really saves up your battery and pair it up with a good throttle control so you're going to maximize the efficiency of your scooter right so that's the last factor that affects the range of the electric scooter special mention for additional factor that affects an electric scooter range you know what that is it's the external accessories that are directly tapped onto your electric scooter's batteries especially when you are using two strong wattage headlights and also when you are using a very strong horn. Why? When it's directly tapped on your electric scooter's battery, it drains too much of your battery that affects the range of your electric scooter. So make sure that you are also aware when you are tapping external accessories to your electric scooter batteries. Sometimes it's just better to use external battery so it won't affect your main battery from your electric scooter. And that's the additional factor that affects your electric scooter range. And I would like to thank Sid here for giving us a short assistance for this video and also a short promotion for his channel. Just look up on YouTube OTRP Rides so you're going to see videos mostly me riding around with my girlfriend or other stuff on electric scooter related factors. So yeah, see you guys on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel as well. Peace! And for our question of the day, what other topics would you like us to discuss in the next video? Write down in the comments below. We want to know. And that's it for today, Caballeros. See you on the next one. Peace. Our first factor for this... Um... <laughs> What's up, Caballeros? Caballeros? <laughs> depends. It depends, rider per rider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut that one. <laughs> and for our question of the day... So... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last factor of... <laughs> <laughs>